I'm so proud of us. We were so productive just then. I just did three Kaplan exams. One of them was like a question trainer too, so it was a 75 question. Trainer. Welcome to a week in the life of a nursing student. It is literally almost 3.30 p.m. and I am still in my pajamas. I have had quite the productive day. I literally edited a whole video, got it up, posted it for you guys. Then I started on these Kaplan things and at first I was slowing down a little bit. I was doing the like, I'm gonna watch a TikTok for every question. I literally had my phone next to me and I was watching like nurse talk while answering a question. It was ridiculous, but it got done and it motivated me to finish my trainer. So now I have no more Kaplan's because typically we have two exams that are due on Friday. So I don't have to think about that for the rest of the week because this week is so big. I'm starting my capstone placement, my senior practicum at the children's hospital. I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. So I'm trying to get some stuff done today because Monday is like basically my only day off. I have class all day tomorrow and then I have clinical on Wednesday and Friday and Thursday. I'm helping my dad put the boat in, so we got a lot to do. I promise I'm wearing pants. I'm gonna put all the dishes away. I have been holed up here in this apartment for all day and I'm literally going crazy, too much time on my computer. So I asked Cam if she wanted to come over and she's gonna come over. I'm really excited, maybe we can go by the pool because this is the first nice sunny day in Oregon in like months. I'm very excited about that. My girl Cam, who we all know and love, I am so proud of her. She just got accepted into a program that will train her to become a flight attendant. We need to celebrate her and she's going back to LA super soon. So I figured this will be fantastic to see her. I'm gonna make like a little charcuterie snack plate and I also have stuff to have mimosas. So we can just go live our best lives and celebrate her because she deserves to be celebrated. That is kind of what I've been up to today. It's been a little bit of a slow Monday, but I can't complain. It feels like Sunday. I was gonna see if I have time to make my lunch for the next two days because I do have some food that I could eat up and pack for my lunch, but I may just do that later tonight. I don't know, I'll just assess the situation. Do you know, do you know, do you know that I, do you know, do you know, do you know that I, a nice little hodgepodge charcuterie platter for Miss Cam for when she comes. So that's gonna be delicious. I'm really hungry, so I'm trying to refrain from eating it right now. I got my swimsuit on. I'm wearing this cute set from Fabletics. We're basically just waiting for Cam to arrive and then we can hang out. I'm so excited to have social interaction. If you live alone, you know this feeling all too well when you just really want someone to come over and hang out with you. That's where I'm at. Cam's here. She's enjoying her celebratory charcuterie. This is nothing like the charcuterie you're used to. Oh, this is so good. But we got a package, so we're doing an unboxing. A live unboxing. Knack sent me this cute little box. They're like a really cool company where you can pick out gift boxes and send them to your friends, which I love things like that, especially when like people like Cam decide to move away and then I want to send them something and it's like so expensive to just put it together yourself so you might as well just go online. This is cute. I have no idea what they sent me. It says this gift was curated especially for Kiara. Oh. Wait, that's so cute. It's me. Oh my gosh, wow. It's so cute. Oh, it's little nursey me. They're female-owned small business. We sources our products from other small businesses and we take pride in our unparalleled unboxing, which is true. This is like super nice. It came in this cardboard box, but this is like the official thing. I hope you love this popcorn movie night gift set. Oh, cute. Stop. I have seen this before. It's Eat What You Watch, a cookbook <gasps> for movie lovers. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, that's Wait, so you cute. Need to watch, you need to watch these movies. I know, you could probably know all of them, so you should just flip through them and then just pick it out and then we'll make it. We got toffee covered pretzels, a popcorn popper, cheesy white cheddar, popcorn seasoning, our popcorn. What's this? Hard game. Oh my god, thank you.
We were up bright and early this morning because I am desperately trying to adjust my sleep schedule very last minute ahead of clinical tomorrow because I know if I cannot fall asleep, I will freak out. So I tried to go to bed early. I ended up going to bed by 11, which is fine, but I woke up today at six. And I watched a movie that was really interesting. I think it's called Escape Fire, and it's about our medical system and what we can do better and kind of like the issues surrounding why our medical system's kind of a mess. I don't have to be at school today until 10, which is fantastic. So I, I'm cooking kind of like an elaborate lunch to take to school because I don't really have much food here to eat and I'm trying to eat up whatever I have left so I don't spend any money. So we're gonna make like a little zucchini boat dish that's probably just gonna be very average. I have a single zucchini and I have cheese and I have salsa. So I'm gonna roast my zucchini and put some cheese on it. We'll pack this lunch so that I can just reheat it today. Then we'll go to school for a very long day of lectures and praxis discussions. And then it's just like all prep for tomorrow. I am really nervous. Like I just don't even know what to expect. I'm gonna go pick up my badge today and that'll be good because I'll kind of get like a trial run of the hospital and where to park. I've been to the hospital like three times, but I haven't been anywhere in the building. Really like I know where I'm supposed to pick up the badge, but I haven't been to the children's part of this hospital. I've just been to the main hospital. So we'll see. I'm like, <laughs> I'm nervous. I feel like I'm going in blind. And it's so funny because if you guys follow Anna Heed, she just started at a children's hospital and she was talking about how she's like, I literally haven't been in a hospital in like over four months. And I'm like, I feel that. Like I haven't been in a hospital in, in over five weeks. And I feel so disconnected from that world that it, you almost forget that you can do it, which is so funny how that works. It just makes it all the more intimidating when it's been a while. I do really know it, it'll be fine. The best thing to do is just not overthink it and just to trust yourself, which is a lot easier said than done. So I'm gonna try to distract myself as much as possible today. They're usually very understanding with it being your first day and it tends to be more of like a shadowing, touring the area and getting familiar with all the spaces sort of deal. All right, we are now ready to pack our bags for school. I had to print a lot of stuff at my parents' house because I didn't have it printed myself. So I'm kind of getting all organized here. I printed out a bunch of these report sheets from Nurse Labs. I'll leave a link down below to the whole like file where you can download. They have a bunch of different patient, what are these called? Brain sheets. I'm literally, my brain is not awake. They have a bunch of brain sheets on the internet that you can print out. So I just liked the way this one looked. It only has three patients per side, which is kind of annoying, but I printed it double-sided so that I also have ones on the back. All the vitals and then times for giving meds and then if those meds are IV or PO, you know, just kind of some things. And they have like a little picture of the body so you could draw like wounds or little notes to yourself if you forget. I definitely will end up developing my own because everyone kind of does that, but I just kind of needed somewhere to start. I think I'm going to end up bringing my scrubs because I have to go pick up my badge and I'm not sure if we have to wear the scrubs or not. So I think I better just like bring them and I can pop them on for a second, run into the hospital and then go get what I need. My zucchini is cooking. I think some of the shredded cheese that I put on there was like gone bad. So I'm trying to decide now if that's gonna make me sick and I shouldn't eat that. The packages that I used like reeked. So that I Googled it and it definitely has gone bad. But it was such a small amount of cheese. I might just eat the the one that didn't have very much of it on it. <sighs> Can you tell I'm nervous already? You guys, I know I'm being utterly ridiculous right now, but I just started Googling more and more about eating this cheese and I was like, I don't have time to feel sick. My mom has this thing where she's like, why would you take the risk? Like it's, you're not losing that much money, literally just throw it away. So then I was like, why would I do this to myself right before this main event? And I remembered I had, these leftovers to make this spring roll things. I'm just making spring rolls instead. I don't have time to feel unwell. We have just enough time to make this happen. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, this is gonna be way better. The lesson we learned today is that if your cheese smells bad, you should just probably not use it. I have never really talked about this on the internet that much, I guess, but I definitely have a lot of pre-shift anxiety and some of it stems from me being new, obviously. Some of it stems from me being underprepared and it is a little bit of just like the nature of the job itself. Because it makes me anxious because you just don't know how your day's gonna go. And it's always fine when I get there and I start getting going, but at this point also I have 
anxiety about having pre-shift anxiety and not sleeping before my shift and I definitely notice the most when I'm trying to go to bed like I can't fall asleep and clearly this morning I'm already thinking about tonight and how I can't fall asleep. I will say it did get better at the end of last term when I finally reframed my mind and was like this is going to be a learning opportunity you're not in charge you're going to be fine. Change your mindset to be more excited about what learning opportunities are going to come your way rather than just being so stressed out about how your day is going to go and is it going to be what you expect and are you prepared enough because you're never going to be prepared enough please comment down below if you relate and what helps you because i think i need advice <laughs> clearly i'm really in my head and this is now coming out so i'm gonna be distracted at school all day i may try to like have dinner with a friend or something just so i can stop like being alone and stressing out and freaking about Am I prepared enough and all this like it's a cycle it's not good but maybe you relate to these similar feelings and if so you guys aren't alone I typically am not a person with like a lot of fears and I actually don't have a lot of anxiety so it's very interesting that it's coming out like in the middle of all this but it's happening so we're just gonna acknowledge it I'm gonna go to school <laughs> it's gonna be okay I'm gonna put all my blinds down so that my apartment doesn't just cook in here because that's the other thing is I can't sleep when it's too hot. So I'm gonna try to keep this place as cool as possible. And that way I can sleep well, hopefully. officially done with class. I'm really happy. I need to tie this. I just changed into my scrubs because I want to look professional and because I apparently have to take a batch picture. So the one day I didn't do my hair, but I feel like it's fine. It's just going to be like a little granulator picture. It was an overall good day. I'm feeling better, especially after hearing about other people's first days. So fingers crossed it goes well tomorrow. <laughs> Remember how I said that I was doing really well and eating what was in my fridge already? Well, I did get myself lunch for tomorrow, but that's because I'm really proud because I really have not eaten out in a long time. So today I was like, this is a treat yourself day. You're starting clinical tomorrow. It's going to be good. And I got my favorite stuff from Elephant's Delicatessen. It's like literally my favorite cafe in Oregon. Quinoa and black bean salad. It's just really easy to eat. It always sounds good to me. So even if I'm like having the nervous the nausea nerves I still like crave this and then I also got a northern Italian like basically a caprese sandwich so this will be for Wednesday this will be for Friday and then I'm gonna split the sandwich I feel like I need a lot of food because one I get hungry very very easily like my metabolism just is constantly going and two this is my first 12-hour shift tomorrow like for real for real I've obviously worked other shifts but we would like stop at eight hours and talk for two hours about our feelings or we would do like 11 or 10 hours so i've just never had the full 12 hour experience like non-stop on my feet so i'm anticipating being very hungry so that's what i got and then i also got myself mango passion fruit kombucha i'm gonna put this all um in my bag i'm gonna go to my apartment and figure out you know start packing everything for tomorrow all that good stuff best news is that i'm gonna get to have dinner with my favorite clinical instructor from second semester we're neighbors and we're really good friends so when she gets off work I think we're gonna get sushi together and eat on my rooftop which I'm very excited about and she is a peds nurse so I think I just like need to discuss peds life so I can be hyped up and feel a little bit more prepared so that's the game plan for tonight um, I got my badge everything hopefully went well with it, it was kind of weird so we'll see if we have issues tomorrow <laughs> Happy clinical day one. It is the first day of me starting my capstone. It's a beautiful day. The sun is out. It's gonna be hot today. I'm just finishing up my oatmeal 
and some green tea. So I need to get ready here because I want to leave in about 30-ish minutes. I have everything laid out. My lunch is packed. I just got to like throw on the scrubs and do my hair. I am kind of nervous, but I also haven't like thought about it that much. So I'm not letting myself like feel nervous. So <laughs> I just hope I have a good day. I had a lot of fun last night talking to my clinical instructor and they slept better than I thought I would last night. Like I only woke up a couple of times. I'm so excited to like see how it goes. And I'm sure the environment's going to be really different than I'm what I'm used to, so I hope it's something that I like. Yeah, we're gonna get ready and then we'll head out to the hospital. This is so crazy. all ready to go I did my hair I did some fancy like little I don't know French braid into a bun thing it's not perfect if I did a ponytail my scalp would have been so mad at me so at least this is pretty cute my hair's out of my face and it's comfortable to wear for a 12 hour shift fingers crossed so we got the outfit on the badge and everything and we're gonna head out of here I'm getting like nervous excited I'm just excited to meet my preceptor and see the floor so I'm just gonna tell myself it's like a shadow day and if you do like one task that you're excited or proud of then that's great so okay here we go all right you guys we survived our first day of our senior capstone it was an amazing day honestly everything that i could have asked for it was chill, but I learned a lot. I have an amazing preceptor. Like, I love her so much, and I just have a feeling we're just gonna be a great little team. I survived my first 12. I thought it was gonna be worse than it was. I'm not, you know, as tired as I thought I would be, but I'm also just, like, high on life. Love the peds world. Oh, so validating. Like, I think I was really afraid that I would not be down for it and have like a hard time seeing sick kids but I love working with them and am amazed at their attitude when they're going through some really hard stuff that they can still be hilarious and the parents are really sweet at least the ones that I interacted with there's so many things I love about it in another video I'll talk about it because I should just make a list yeah I'm really sweaty I cannot wait to wash my face I'm gonna go to my parents house and maybe spend the night there because I'm gonna put the boat in tomorrow so yeah we'll see what happens but exciting times <laughs> Keeping me awake. We should reminisce, but stay the same. See what we're doing, and this one, the priority. I'd like to say it to a far name. Would it be a painless love in that to waste? Do it once again. Doug! Good morning, you guys. It is boat prep day. We got Maggie Mae here. I got all the cushions out, cleaned the cup holders. We're about to scrub these bad boys and then get her ready to go in the water today, hopefully. It is currently 1.22, so. We will see how fast Doug and I can pull this together. We had already a little problemo. We almost freaked out and thought we weren't gonna get the boat in today because this very important uh, part on the um, engine just popped off when I was putting the outdrive up which was a little bit crazy and a little bit scary, but then we realized that we had the boat worked on right after we pulled it out. So it's probably not broken. They just probably forgot to tighten it. So it's a false alarm, which is very good because I need to get the boat in today. Hi guys, it's editing Kiara here. Um, I filmed this entire next clip facing the wrong direction because of course I went straight from the hospital to my parents' house and I didn't bring my vlog camera, so I was vlogging on my phone. So I'm just gonna explain what happened here. Turns out the piece that was broken that we thought we could fix was actually just broken. So we couldn't get the boat in that day. And what we ended up doing was getting the boat all finished cleaning, put it all together, put the cover on it, put the trailer on and hauled it to the boat shop. And luckily the dealer was able to turn around our boat really quickly, get it into the shop and fix it for less money than we thought. The rest of the day was just basically a wash because um, we were running around trying to get the boat dropped off in time. And then I had to get ready for clinicals the next day. So let's jump to Friday. It's all true. It's all true. 
about me, you know I ain't lying. Cause I hate wasting time. You said soon we'll be leaving. Another day done. Hello, you guys. Oh, my face. My face is oily. I'm ready to wash it. I forgot to turn the AC on before I left, so it is hot in this apartment. I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna pee. I really do have to pee. Overall, it was a good day. I will say it was a little bit more challenging than the first day because I was doing more. At some point in the day, I was being a little hard on myself. Like I want to be hitting everything on the charting, but it's just, you can't be fast and it takes time to pick up and like know what to put where. So that was a little bit difficult until I was like, dude, it's literally like your seventh day in the hospital chill out like you're totally fine so this is like the first real day of like doing a lot more stuff independently which was good for me and a good challenge and i feel good about it like today I had some more challenges but you don't learn if you don't have the challenges so i'm really fine with it now even though i was most definitely beating myself up about it earlier. I don't know if I'm gonna film much more today because I'm so tired, but in order to make it up with you guys, I'll probably film some clips tomorrow because I got the best news ever that we can put the boat in tomorrow because they worked on it today and we thought we weren't gonna get it back until like Tuesday or Wednesday. So that's great news. I'm very happy with that. I love you guys. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. It's all gone by the morning, no, man, I was one more in the morning. Morning, you guys, we got the boat in, everything is well. It's Sunday now, it's like 90 degrees at 10.30, this is crazy. So we're gonna go spin around and have a, have a good, nice end to our Sunday before clinical tomorrow. officially Sunday night and I just thought I'd wrap up this video because I know it's been a little bit scattered and all over the place but thank you for coming along I hope it gave you kind of like a decent picture of what my week has been it's been so busy but overall really good week happy I made it through made some good memories today it was so much fun just like getting the boat in and being outside it was a hundred degrees today in Oregon which is crazy and my friends about to come over we're gonna have dinner here and then I'm gonna try to go to bed early because I have clinical tomorrow again I'm gonna pack my lunch thank you guys so much for watching if you want more videos like this where i just take you along and show you kind of my crazy routine then give this video a thumbs up and today's question of the day that you guys should comment down below is going to be what is your favorite summer activity what have you been doing what's on the bucket list i want to know down below i love you guys so crazy much and i will talk to you very soon bye